All right, hey Capricorn, so I'm doing a ghosted energy check-in for you and the one on your mind. And you're going to know this is your read based off your energy. Everything else is going to be centered around the person coming through your mind space or heart space. So if that if this energy does not resonate with what you're kind of feeling and going through right now, check your other placements, you guys. And if you're new, welcome. I do hope you'll subscribe if you like my energy. So let's just see who I'm talking to. They, these haven't been the worst so far. Earth is the first one I've put out. They haven't been the worst. All right. So your energy. Um, I feel like right now you're trying to find maybe understanding when it comes to this dynamic with this person, especially if you feel like there's a soul connection right here coming through. All right. Um, I feel like you're trying to look for balance in the situation. Um, you're not trying to get too much over your head or overthink too much into this connection. Um, but I do feel like you're just right here sitting in temperance card. Um, I, you could be struggling too with trying to find the learning through what has happened here. Um, why the question of why could be coming through your mind space a lot. And one thing I just kind of want to put out there for, for you, um, and not that it's going to help ease you, but sometimes when we stop asking um, that question, why things happen, uh, they, st they stop happening. All right. And I can attest to that. That's something I've had to do many, many, many times over. Um, but I do feel like overall you're, you're, you're finding, um, the embodiment of peace, um, trying to find balance. Um, and overall, I just feel like your energy is, is, I'm not going to say it's like the most positive energy in the world. Um, you know, it could be that you're, you're having a, you have your good days and your bad days is what I'm going to say. That's what I feel. You're having your good days and your bad days. All right. I'm trying to find balance, trying to find peace, just trying to be, um, uh, of, um, just coming through as mellow, trying to find the mellow balance throughout everything that's kind of happening right now. Um, you know, with temperance card coming through, it could feel like there's a soul dynamic coming through, uh, as temperance is, uh, uh, does reference a soulmate dynamic. Um, so we have to remember that sometimes people str struggle with the deeper, um, the deeper bonds, the deeper soul connections that come through. So let's see who this person is. Um, so we have Leo with the Knight of Pentacles. This is Taurus and Aries. And with the Page of Wands, you got uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or even Earth energy. Um, so this person coming through, it, here's what I feel. Um, they're, they're somebody that definitely wants to move slow. It could too also feel like this person. Um, as far as you're concerned, it could it could feel like they're a little bit self-centered um, or a little bit too focused on self. All right. But what I want to say that maybe you haven't seen through this person is um, they're trying to navigate their own spiritual path, their own journey. Um, and I do feel like uh, conversely, maybe you're feeling like this person might be a little bit self-centered uh, or maybe self-indulged. I feel like they're coming through more about wanting to take their time with this connection because um, you're coming through very, very strong on their heart space or on their mind space. Um, the Knight of Pentacles is a wounded warrior. So this is somebody who uh, um, I feel like you may be witnessed or maybe this is a surprise to you, but they're trying to navigate through those past pains and woundings that they've held. <laughs> And that could be one of the reasons why they want to move slow. Um, either you know it or unbeknownst to you. Okay, the Page of Wands is somebody who is is going through, maybe trying to remove um, the false uh, uh, sense of self. Um, you know, freeing their spirit and kind of discovering who they actually are. And that could be that could be something that was sparked by you. And that could be where the the kind of the peace sets in between you and this person. So um, not a lot of negative energy coming through at all. So let's just see how they feel about you. How does this person feel? You bring a healing dynamic. Look at that. This person's definitely they don't want to make the same mistakes of the past. Okay, with the, ki the the King of Wands coming through in reverse, um, I I don't feel like this is I don't feel like it's right to keep that card in reverse just because of these other cards that come through with it. It's almost like you're the opposite of what this person has endured. So if they've been in situations where people hasn't haven't uh, treated them seriously, you know, if they've been hurt and wounded in the past by people who were just playing on their feelings and emotions, um, it's almost like they see you as somebody who is a healing factor through that. So you bring um, peace to this person. And with the Page of Pentacles, they don't want to make the same mistake. So this person's definitely not rushing 
brushing it with you. Um, and with the three of pentacles and the six of pentacles coming through your energy, you're finding balance within this person. You're finding a healing factor, maybe even possibly looking at this as a soulmate dynamic with a contract for those of you who believe in that. Um, because I do look at and resonate the three of pentacles in a love read with uh, soul contracts. Um, it's also building a friendship from the ground up. So this uh, could be something that you recognize as, some, as a friendship that you guys started on and we're trying to build up to something. Um, but they see you as somebody who comes through as very healing. Um, I, I don't want to make the same mistakes that I've made with other people with you. All right. So um Kind of stepping into that friendship dynamic too. I just got to say this person could maybe not even recognize your feelings towards them. Uh, and that's just going to be a side note. But let's see what their intentions were with you. Their intentions. All right. the five. So I kind of feel like this person might not recognize this connection um, as you do i feel like there could be more of a romanticized feeling on your end but on this person's end i almost feel like they might not they might not uh gather those feelings from you okay their intention so we have the five of pentacles with the eight of pentacles and the queen of wands in reverse this also came through in reverse and what I'm going to say with this is they don't come through and intend to ghost you. They don't, they don't, they don't have any intentions to come through and hurt you, but it's almost like this person does not see what is happening here. Capricorn, it could, I'm, I'm going to pull to see why this person ghosted. And I almost feel like it's because you could have expressed some feelings that this person was not ready to hear. They could have just came out of a relationship or came out of something pretty bad. Um, and it, the eight of pentacles in reverse with all of this energy around it's like i'm almost feeling like this person may have been blindsided by something that you said especially when it comes to holding emotions and feelings towards them um because it's not like they're i don't feel like they came through and they're like let me ghost capricorn it's almost like you guys have developed something from a friendship bond and you could have gotten really deep with this person and it has really thrown them off okay um, but let's just see. I got to check into this. Why did this person ghost? I, I, they're conflicted. Look at that. So here, here's what I feel. The king of pentacles, the 10 of want, this person's not over something. They're not over something of the past. That five of swords is conflict. Um, you know, I feel like this person's carrying a lot right now. And with the King of Pentacles coming through reverse, we have the King of Wands. We have the Queen of Wands. It's almost like this person's not ready. They're not ready. They have, they're holding on to something of the past that they're not ready to give up on yet. Um, and it, it doesn't have to be that this person's waiting for a, a connection to come back through. It could just be that they're still kind of suffering in silence um, throughout a relationship that had ended kind of negatively. Um, because I see war or battle. It's like this person's still kind of struggling and holding on to some wounds of the past. So they're not ready to build or grow with anyone yet. Um, and it could be too that they came to you as a friend or, you know, you've been a shoulder that this person can lean on. And it's almost like they're you could have expressed something that this person just wasn't ready to hear. Maybe it was a, um, you know, deeper feelings, emotions, maybe even expression of love. And this person's not ready to hear all that. So let's see if they're coming back in the next 30 days. Are they coming back? The sun card. So you guys want that. Look at that. They're going to come back through. Wow, you guys have really deep, uh, you have a deep connection coming through. I do feel it is spiritual. I just seen the Hierophant card. Um, so I do feel like you guys are going to come back through and really talk about um, things that sit between you and, the, and them. Um, you know, and it's not that this person don't have that love. It's not that they don't share some of those same feelings. I just feel like it's more about this person not being ready yet. And I have to say out of the earth sign, um, I've, out of the earth signs that I've done, this is by far, um, the, this I'm getting the chills because I do feel like this is a connection that's meant to happen. But patience with the one that's coming through your heart space is going to be very much needed, especially um, for you guys to be a success and to see this grow, which I do feel has that potential outcome for the happily ever after. All right. Um, so let's just see. Your advice for now. 
wow your advice for now look at that you you have to look at this as something that's not here to take anything away from you in the negative facet all right um you have the queen of swords and the queen of cups coming through all right, and this right here is just being open honest holding love holding space for this person um but being direct having boundary set and just being um i feel like don't don't take away from how you've already been with this person. If anything, show them love and be there for them. Hold space for them because this does have a lot of potential to grow. And for those of you um, that kind of, and I don't feel like it's negative energy. Even you are just coming through with just trying to understand and process what's happened here. Um, it's they When this person comes back, it's like, don't. Don't take everything fully to heart with this connection because this, I almost feel like, has nothing to do with you. All right? Sit in your um, the truth and honesty. Um, don't take away from how you've been with this person because I do feel like this person actually appreciates you um, in every every aspect that you have been with them. So don't, don't navigate away from that. You know, hold space for them. Show this person love, compassion, and care. Stay open. Stay honest about your feelings and emotions because it's almost like this person's taken a step back. Not because of you but because of what they've been through and what they're trying to grow through so let's see um who we're talking to as i say it did you guys see these initials rip comes through don't look at the connection like that though you got r-i-p q-s and e capricorn i'm gonna leave it there you guys take care